Hello guys, Art Thieves here. In this video, I want to show you a quick overview of my stylized fairy hut modeling process. Unfortunately, I didn't record UV unwrapping or texturing this time, so I'll only cover the modeling phase. Let's get started. I start off by creating a round object that has 30 sides for a proper shading. Then I add a box with norms enabled, edit it into a proper roof, pull in my objects together, retopologize them, and finally give them a shell modifier. Before you apply shell or some other irreversible modifier, you can cut some holes. Remember to apply Spherify to some round objects that could have been damaged by automated retopology. After applying shell modifier, I remove all parts of unnecessary topology. Then I chamfer all visible edges. I use a soft selection tool and play with its settings to create an uneven bionic curve without any sculpting or applying noise. Walls and mushroom stems are made by using the taper modifier and editing curve settings. I make support pillars by using create shape from selection function. Since I'm modeling a stylized fairy house, I try to make these pillars resemble some kind of insect legs or something like that. I copy the height of the house's bottom part, select spider legs, and create a slice plane to make everything nice and even. Then I repeat the same process for the top part. On the next stage I probably in everything together, remove some unwanted vertices and repeat the same process for top and bottom edge loops. I make window frames from splines. Cylinders are cut in half and their halves are extruded to give windows some extra depths. Inner elements are connected to external frames the same way we connected everything before, by using the probing tool and fixing the topology manually. When playing with splines, I try to make some edges sharp, while others remain smooth. Sharp edges get chamfered later on. I create glass by using cap, inset and collapse tools and then target welding the collapsed center to one of the corners. I alter the frame a little bit so that it matches the surface of the wall. Make sure to let your glass stay flat, otherwise you'll get some bad shading. My topology is by no means ideal here. Normally you want to enclose that window into another circle and avoid ending multiple edges with a single vertice. The surface is almost flat, however, 
and it is hard for me to imagine a situation in which this topology will cause some problems. Stairs are created by using extrude and chamfer tools. Remember to make details thick enough if you are making a stylized model. Small and thin details can ruin the slightly cartoony look. I make the door the same way I made windows. However, I don't want the wooden surface to be flat like glass, so I create some gaps, flattering them and later paint them black. For this window, I make the special frame that resembles some kind of a stylized web. Then I simply attach everything together. I make some round windows that match the overall style of the house. Finally, I create two varying mushrooms for each side of the hut's roof. To do it, I mostly use chamfer and taper modifier. I also use bend modifier to get rid of the unwanted 90 degrees angle for everything to look more curved and natural. Once again, I balloon everything together, fix topology, and apply chamfer to most visible hard edges. I create the final window the same way I made all other windows and frames. I bend its frame a little bit for it to match the shape of the mushroom stem. Thanks for watching guys! If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more stylized content. And most importantly, have a great day!